Ace back. What up? What up? What up? Ace back. So you want to be an Ace back technician. All right. Look, look what we got today. Today, I'm, I'm about to go up and confirm a grounded compressor. When we have a compressor, especially like an 06D compressor, and it's grounded, which we know those are expensive, we usually like to get a second opinion on it. So I'm going to go up, put my meter on it, and see what we got. But I usually start these videos off when I'm at the unit. But today, I'm gonna take you with me. Cause if you, if you're not in this industry yet, I wanna show you the uh, physical demands we have sometimes. That's why I say it's important to take care of your body. Eat the right things. So you can get around, get up, get up on these roofs. Cause it, this about this bag right here with all these tools in it, that's a good anywhere between 30, I'm putting it on my scale one day, 30 to 40 pounds, easy. <laughs> and you see how high this roof is. So you want to take care of your body. So you want to be all out of breath and tired. That's why you can't be doing all the smoking and drinking at night and on the weekend. You gotta consume the good foods. So you can do your work. And you know, and don't be tired. You know? Cause it is the man. Depending on what age you is, well, I don't care how old you is. Like in one of my videos, I was saying that, see this is one part right here. Got to, got to go up another part. In one of my videos, I was saying that it's so many things you can do in back. That's why you want to get as much experience as you can while you're in the field as a technician. Because you don't want to be doing this all your life. But when you get older, or at least try to stay in shape so you can do it as long as possible. But this is not, a lot of this stuff is not good for your back in your legs take a toll on you. That's why it's important to get those office jobs or, or stay in school or go back to school. Cause either I'm kinda out of breath. And I think I'm in good shape, but I like it though. I mean, when I first started, I used to get on this roof right here, and this roof right here, big as a football field. I used to run around here. Even when I used to get my filters and change filters, I used to, all these package units right here, they roughly take the same filters. I think like 20 by 25 by two. It's come 12 in a box. And I think each unit takes six filters. So I used to get my boxes and I run, set two boxes right here in the middle. Set two boxes right here in the middle. Set two boxes right here in the middle. And I just hit it. I do this whole roof by myself. We had technicians now crying. I right, need help, need help. Man, it's a good workout too. I get, get all my filters delivered. Probably about anywhere between 10, 15 boxes of filters. Man, I, I, I get it up myself, I ain't got no problem. I pull some of them up, you know, set them. 
and go get some more. Ain't nothing to it. But if you get your filters delivered though, a lot of time, the uh, whoever delivering the filter, the company that delivered the filter, will set them down there for you. I mean, tie them up for you. And all you gotta do is pull them up. Now that I charge this battery, see I'm running low, so I'm gonna head over, try to find this unit. Number 14. Uh, hope hit on compressor run. Hope it ain't too loud over here. You can hear me. We'll diagnose this compressor real quick and get out of here. Unit number 14. I know it's on a freezer. That's a freezer. See, we have beautiful sights too. See the whole city. Got the best views sometimes. Number 16. See, we got a disconnect off right here. Looking around, this is the only one got a disconnect off. That disconnect on, that disconnect on, that disconnect on. See, that's how you eliminate some of your time. You gotta keep your eyes open. That disconnect off. All right, well, that's say 17 right there. They told me 14. That's the only disconnect I see off. See what we got. That's 18. They told me 14. That one running. The number 20. This one running. Number 15. Believe this 14 right here. Yep, number 14. Look like it been running though. Make a phone call. Hey, Ken, how you doing? Hey, I'm at uh I'm at the site on the roof uh, over here. You say it was number 14 compressor? Yeah, cause I see a disconnect off on 17. The disconnect is up on 14. I don't see the compressor running, but one of the fans is on. Okay, closer to the apartments over here. Okay, so it's not in it's not the one in the middle, it's the one closer to the uh the loading dock. Why the disconnect on? Yeah. Yeah, the disconnect. Oh you get Oh you got the okay, you got the wire disconnected from the compressor. Contact. Okay, then I didn't make it show. Oh, oh. Okay, what's going on with 17? I see the disconnect off on that one then. It's it's thawing out. Okay then. All right, man. I so appreciate. It. Okay. All right. So this is it right here. They got the compressor. They got the compressor uh, disconnected. All right, I'm at 10 minutes on this video, dog. 
I think it's going to shut off at 12 minutes. So I think in my videos I show how to uh, how to uh, see if the compressor grinds or not. But I can still do a quick test. Try to still do a what's it called? All right, try to find the compressor. Okay, you see, you got the compressor disconnected right here. So I'm, for sake of time, I'm, I'm just gonna uh, test these leads to ground right here. But then <clears throat> I'm gonna take all this off right here and uh, check my compressor. The reason he left this on because he wants the uh, evaporator and the uh, Unthought some of that ice. He wants the heaters to come come on. So, but I'm gonna check this the ground right here real quick. So I have my razor with me. Come 